Alright, so we have those items in hand. Let us head out. Yes, this is the better way to go from Rimaldar back to the sea to find your boat. Alright, you go this way. Here's the desert that's a tip-off. About where you should go. Now to find my boat. There it is. Or ship, I guess. How about I get into it so I can sail? Because we're heading down south to that island. And I'm sure some of you were wondering about that island. Well, now it's time to go there. Uh, island. So, we just sail around looking for an opening, which I believe is in the southern reaches. There it is. We go up here. Oh my. Is there anything around here? No. How about here? There is. Grave robbing in a sacred shrine. We rule. Hooray. Hey, buddy. Yep. The rain and sun shall be joined. Sparkly. The rainbow drop is ours. Hooray. Now what's he got to say to us? <laughs> I like how they address that. That's cute. But before we get going on with our little adventure, we got a couple stops to make first. Let's go back to Alien and head inside to see the Mini Metal Man. Hey, Mini Metal Man, what do you got? You do collect tiny metals. Yes, we have. 100. So that means tiny metals. Got the Vivify Staff. Excellent. 95. Good. The Sacred Bikini. Excellent. And the Gold Pass. Hooray. Nothing else. Now the Gold Pass uh, cuts all the everything uh, in shops by half. So if there's expensive stuff you want to buy, you can go do it. Yeah, quietly cheer for this. Alright, so who got... Well, Brad, you were the unfortunate recipient of this item. So let's equip it, because it's not a very good equipment, obviously. And... We now get to see Brad's sweet, sweet bikini form. But that's too disturbing, so I'm going back to the Terra Armor. Anyway, you'll join me back at... Rimaldar. Yes. I... So we can head towards that castle we saw earlier. Now this is the area in the game where you can fight up to six metabols at a time. Speak of the devils, there's four of them. However, we want to make sure we kill uh, those wyverns so they can't damage us too much. And then you most likely aren't going to kill metabols. They've got six hit points. So unless you get a critical hit, they're not going down. Yeah, no, they just escaped. Dirty jerks. Dirty buggers. Alright, so let's keep going here. And as we head west through the desert, the enemies will get tougher. And as you go along this path, like I was saying, you'll come into this little spot here. And you may be saying, well, great, you brought us to a dead end. Thanks a lot. Well, here's what you do. Use the rainbow drop. And somehow a rainbow drop creates a bridge for you. And now the enemy should start to get nasty. Like so. Salamanders on the loose. Something you may notice. Uh, I can't show it to you right now, actually. But um, Bryn has learned her most powerful attack spell. Which is Thordane. Thordane is a nasty, just filthy attack. Does a ton of damage. Hits everything. It's a great attack. The only problem is it costs a mint, so we're not going to be using it too often. Anyway, here are some dragons. Dragons actually aren't that strong, but they can spew fire, which is annoying. As you see, if you don't have the right equipment on, they can do some damage. Good experience, though. Can't deny that. And everything around here is like high encounter rate uh, tiles for the most part. All right. We are in this scary castle. Oh, Balrogs. An upgrade of the Wing Demon. Probably similar spells and things, and probably not the strongest guys on the block, thankfully. 
I'm sure they'll get that chance to flex their m monkey muscly pecs soon enough. Oh, come on. Did I miss the... There's doors down here. Can I get to them? No. Am I just going in circles? Possibly. Oh, here we go. More troll kings and manticores. Ooh. Some mean stuff in this castle. You gotta come in prepped. Lots of herbs and everything else. And you gotta leave enough magic to use outside if you get in danger. That's why it's good to have people with magic. It's the guys with the multiple uh, hit all its spells and breath attacks. They're the ones you want to really kill quick in this place. Alright, can we go down here? We can go down here. What are we going to do? Um, whoa. Uh, how about we cast Step Guard? You may be saying, why are we going to bother with this? Why? Because we want a tiny metal. Hooray. Even though we don't need them anymore, we're still going to collect them. Because that's just the fun thing to do. Anything else in here? How about here? No. Oh, now we go back up here, and we're going to go down this way. Moving onwards and upwards, and we go through this door, and hey, the door slams shut. Hey, hey. Um, I can't get out. That's weird. Oh, well, let's just walk up here, get attacked. Ooh, archmages. Nasty, filthy things that should be murdered as soon as possible. I'm not worried about killing metabols. I'm more worried about what magic these guys can dish out. Like, probably right here. No, amazingly enough, Brad went first in his slow-ass self. Let's get out of here. It's locked. Wow. Then I guess we better walk up the middle of the carpet. Oh, no. What horrible, monstrous things are these going to be? They're just grand, ti grand titans. I mean, they can hit hard, but they're not that scary. Oh, they crumbled. Let's move on. And yes, it's going to be the same thing over again. Here we go again. Ooh, Fate Just Learn Revive. That's excellent. Now, that's a for sure revive spell that will bring people back at full hit points. And explode it. Very nice. And the door just opened. And we can step out here onto these damaging tiles. Hey, look, it's a throne. Didn't someone say something about searching behind a throne? Maybe not. How about in front of the throne, then? Right here. Well, we got a tiny metal. Well, there's got to be back here somewhere, so let's start looking. There it is. It's not exactly in a particularly brilliant spot, but there it is. Okay, now this room is one of the toughest in the game. You have to enter the code. Down, left. Okay, you did it. Congratulations. Head upwards. Alright. Oh, goody. Look who it is. It's our friends, the tiles. That is just annoying. Okay, so let's turn it and do what we have to do. Uh, duh. Okay, now i got to turn it, and I want to go left, and then up, and then I want to go this way and turn it again, and go left, and then up, and get attacked. All right, after healing up there, because you want to heal up pretty much all the time. You never want to be leaving yourself too weak. And this is where we want to go. So let's make sure we do this right. There we go. This is where we want to be, because there's the staircase leading downward. Let's go down this path. Um, this path as well. We have a coffin. Un momento. All right, actually, I think I want to go this way first, because I believe there is a sword down here to be found. What do you got for us? A double-edged sword, or a two-edged sword, if you prefer. Let's see if this is any good, shall we? Wow, it doubles up attack, but I believe that sword will deal damage to anyone who uses it, so... It's really not worth the extra 20 attack power to take damage, honestly. Now we want to go this way. Yes, this place is quite the maze. But it's not bad if you know where you're going. Uh, what's over here? It's a dead end. Beautiful. How about over here? That's a dead end, too. Yeah, remember that I know where I'm going line? That clearly is incorrect. There's no way I know where I'm going. Oh, look at these guys. Sword doids. 
Man, they're Hell Knights on crack by the looks of them. Or a new paint job, at least. Either way. Heal more. Well, that's just irritating. Alright, come on. There's got to be something coming soon. The hallways here are epically long. But the experience in gold is just out of sight. Like, I'm getting like three grand to fight right now. Just awesome. Alright, this is looking pretty fancy. What's over this way? Anything? A bridge. Let's just head across this way. And what's going on? There's a fight. 